welcome back everybody so uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at the mech base before we start up today I already know what mission we're gonna do but today um, the fire control system predator that we picked up I was thinking about putting it in the talus or the talos to make the um, large X pulse even more accurate but I was noticing in the last episode in the episodes previous that the shadow cat is having a difficult time targeting with um, the medium improved heavy lasers and the MMLs are having sometimes hard time to uh, target. So I dropped it into Fire Control System Predator into here. Now, the bonuses on this are kind of interesting. Plus three accuracy extreme, plus two accuracy at long, plus one at medium, and plus three accuracy at minimum range. So if we get in close with this thing, the enemy is dead pretty much. But at extreme and long range, which most of the time, that's when these medium heavies are firing at. Um, we'll have a much better chance to hit with these. We've already got a minus one accuracy penalty with this with these things So I'm hoping that helps out a little bit and we hit we hit with these a little more often And yes, we had to lose the Artemis ammo for this But the plus one to hit with this is going to be mitigated by you know, the plus three and plus two uh, That we're getting from the predator at longer ranges, which is where we're generally engaging with these So we have a, a full ton now of regular LRM ammo and a full ton of regular SRM ammo as well so yeah, that's how uh, that's how that kind of worked out. Um, we gained half a ton because the clan um, Artemis fire control system is a ton and a half, so it's only a ton now for the Predator. So we saved a half a ton, which means we were able to put a full ton of regular LRM ammo in. So we'll have a little bit more firing with that, an extra couple of turns, which is a bonus. So uh, yeah, that's all there is done with that. So let's have a look at the command center now. I'm gonna go ahead and do Penitent Justice which is an escort in the polar region against the clans. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go full salvage, of course. And, um, do I want to leave the melee mech in? Do I? Or do we want to make it more of a challenge? Like if we pull this guy out, it'll make it a little more challenging. We can bring in Witness and the Jenner. This guy's great for killing vehicles though. Although I don't think we're going to get a lot of vehicles. Um, yeah, let's leave it for now. Alright, let's just deploy. Okay, here we go. Just the four of us. Looks like they got a Lance defending this time. Kind of glad it was this map and not the other one. There's the there's another map that's like really huge. Yeah, you need to get up here. No shooting, just running. All right, we got eyes on. What do we got? Chapa. All right, Dust Raker, um, yeah. Wow. Mask is like automatically a 10% failure at the start. There we go. Look at the speed on this thing. We're going to commit. We're going to commit hard. Still, all we can see is that guy, eh? Wow. Um, let's just do this. It's full armor, but, I mean... It'll take a bit of damage. That arrow is really just like a secondary like weapon, backup weapon. Roger. Sure. Fire. We got the extra ammo now. Meh. Targeting system janky. Nah. Targeting systems are fine. You're janky. Um, take the road or not. If we get up here, are we going to be able to get down? Probably. Looks like we can. Let's just get up here. 
Right, he's the only guy we can see. Yeah, well, wasn't expecting much. He's right on top of me. It's nice that they can do that. Makes sense. You just make shooting at this guy, I could hit my own guy <laughs> quite a bit. Okay, there's Zephyr. Well, aren't you loaded down with a bunch of shiz? Okay, round two. Went a little bit laggy here, so my guess is it's the chopper. Let's just hope it's not one of those stealth bombers. That'll be really bad if it is. Not so much that um, not so much that I'm worried about well I mean if he targets one mech it's really bad but I mean if um, if it is a stealth bomber it's gonna be really hard for us to hit him at this point okay arc light let's do this what do we got here? Vindicator. Kind of a weird. That uh, was another chopper back here. Um, yeah, that's point blank range. That's a lot better. That is a lot better. Let's go with SRMs on this guy. Um, yeah. This should do it, though. Yep. And he just disappeared. He just vanished. After that full move that that guy did, that predator system at close, like that point, I was point blank range. It's brilliant that it's plus three to hit at point blank. We already had a good chance to hit. Made it even better. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Raker. Um, let's turn off this mask. Wow, the fail is 25% now. We've only got this guy in stepping range, so let's go ahead. Keeping our back to the mountain here. Fire fist back on. Here it comes. Hopefully we can get this guy. Nice. Burn! Ah, we missed. Okay, let's get up this guy's nose. Um, better leave this off. It's a little too close for that. All right, firing. Target. Well, somebody has an AMS. Can we get down here without uh, going through the heat? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, rockets come off. Barrage comes off. And we'll fire the rest. Okay, he must have a Mark II AMS. Still did pretty good damage on him, though. That chopper's vanished. Okay, there's a gauntlet. That's not good. I mean, it's good if we want salvage. It's a good mech for salvage. Okay, they're in a, in a spot that they should not be in. Because we got some damage coming up here. Let's do this. Alright. Um, he's just going to shoot it down.
No, nah, not bad. Okay, the percentage chances are much better now. Copy that. Oh, they both hit too. Beautiful. Um, Ready for order. On my way. Got something for these guys. A little special something. Just wanted to make sure we were out of range first before I go ahead and do this. Locked on target. I think that was the chopper dying. Good to go. Yep, certainly sounded like it. Okay, we can't melee this guy. Stealth boy up here is stealth. Um, let's not waste the rockets on this guy. I have no idea what's coming up, and we're doing okay out right now, so don't have to waste them. Mm-hmm. He's overheating like crazy. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? He's thinking about it. Do I move forward? Do I move back? Do I stand here in the flames? I have a feeling he stood there in the flames. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, uh... I think we're going to go and do this. Engaging target. Warning. Armor low. There they are. What do you need? There you bastards are. What's up? I got a feeling he's going to be able to shoot these down anyway, but let's get uh, some Infernos on this guy. Alright, still a lot of heat. Still a lot of heat. Let's get into here. Oh wait, can we get this guy in close range? Ah, uh, just a little shy, so let's just stay off to the side like this. Rolling. And we're going to go up to this guy. This guy's a little dangerous, let's fire on him. Nice. Receiving you. You'll never be cool again. Let's just get you starting this off. Because that's how we do. Wow. Really. Firing an enemy six. Damn. That's alright, man. We got this covered. These guys are both baking. Whose turn is it now? It's probably this guy's turn. The gauntlet. Yeah, you try and cool off, buddy. Good luck with that. This guy's burnt to hell, too. Vindicator risk, man. I think we're going to get some good salvage out of this one, guys. Peoples. i got to stop using the term guys. I use it as a, uh, as a general catch-all term that most people use it as, but... Got to come up with a new new term instead of guys, uh, peoples. I come up with a new word. Everybody, well, yeah. dudes. Dudes is a good term for everybody. Uh, do I want to hammer this guy or do I just want to? Let's clear this guy's ass out of the way. Okay, here they come. This should make it nice and challenging now for us. 
means that these guys can target the vehicles. Just going to slightly adjust this. Now, if they got guys, they're going to come in over here. So we've got a little bit of time. Enemy reinforcements. So yeah, they do have a um, another unit coming in here. Get him to jam his AMS for us, will you? Oh, there's one guy. Is that a thorn? Solitaire, okay. Just as bad. This guy's unstable too. Yeah, those rocket packs at the right time can put a pretty good, pretty good punch down. But I just hate the fact that you only get one shot at it, right? Who's that guy back there? Get his AMS to jam, man. No, there's the knockdown. It's like a 30-ton mech back here. Oh, Kentaro. Really? All right, we're starting to see some good medium mechs now. It's a bonus. Come on, make him bail out, guys. Make him bail. Got one vehicle left. I hope he's gone. Has, oh, he hasn't... I wonder if this guy went already. Okay, I'm hearing a vehicle. Uh, I think it's an arty vehicle. Find out in a second here. What's this? Prowler? Self-propelled arty. Uh, we have to go after that guy fast. The thing I don't know if he's got full armor or not. Okay, Maxim. Let's make that guy eject, please. And one less guy I have to worry about. Well, he's dead. That works. There's that engine spin down. Um, mask stayed on. Don't have the ability to... What the... Stink? Come on, man. Mask is on. Really? That's it, huh? Well, at least we can get your ass back in the fight. All those people screaming in the building you ran over. Um, yeah. Whole lot of nothing. At least you're up there. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yep, we all saw that. Don't worry. We all saw that. So I think we throw the adder on this guy, and then I think we throw um, both arc light and arc fares on in this guy. Yep. I think that's what we should do. Let's get up to here. Okay, um, terrible chances to hit, but we're firing. Fire. Uh, eight points, we'll take it. Commander? Hardcore GV, you know the score. Actually, let's not get up where that guy can probably direct fire us. Let's get into here. Let's burn this sucker. Now, I'm going to leave this off because he's just going to shoot him down anyway. Save them for later. Okay, that was pretty good. Looked like it was six hits. Nice. Nice! Wow. Terrible. Well, if it's going to be terrible, might as well just get up here and make it real terrible. It's not too bad. Might as well make sure the medium laser fires as well. Alright, that was like four hits, I think. I still don't know if those guys are full armor or not.
Pack Hunter and a Chopper. Okay, so not bad. This is a good barrage area. That guy's running. Just don't shoot me in the back. We gotta get you up there, but not just yet. Ow! Fucker! Put both of them in my back. Right after I said, don't shoot me in the back. I'm ready. Unfortunately, GV cannot stay back to manage the convoy. We gotta move up here. Got to keep this guy burnt up. Oh, yeah. See ya! <laughs> You're not escaping that. There's no way. I got to sick you on the Kentaro next. We got to get rid of this arty vehicle, though, fast. If we can't do that, we got to make sure we're spread out. Because that's, uh, he's got the thumper, I think. Or it might be the sniper vehicle. I can't... Oh, it's Thor. Okay. So I don't know if that's a thumper or a sniper. I think it's a thumper. Which is bad. That's all bad. What, you know, who, what the hell am I saying? I wonder where vehicles go on. Fourteen. Of course the, uh, the slowest vehicle is in the front of the lineup. Okay. That could have been bad. At least he's moving in. Yeah. Kill this fucker, will ya? On it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, see that that has made all the difference in these. It sure has, that's for sure. Kinda glad I switched up now. Alright, 59 to dead fire, we'll take that. Okay, one laser hit. Good damage, good damage. Yo, yeah, yeah, see ya. Let's stay out of the flames, get a little bit of height. A little bit of height. Let's just tab these. A um, little bit better with standard. Kentaro. That's an interesting loadout. LRM-15 long fire and a pair of SRMs. And that's even better, it looks like. ERPPC. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Oh yeah, nice shot. Beautiful. Beautiful! At least these guys are fast. Four points. Four points is four points. Okay, at least they can get around that slow guy. See, it's tricky having a melee mech in this kind of situation when you're when you're escorting, depending on the map, right? Because you have to have a mech that kind of stays behind for the vehicles. I mean, I guess you could... Well, for a series like this, you do. Because otherwise, it's going to take forever. Like, you could leave the vehicles behind, go face the mechs, come back, and then escort the vehicles. It just takes forever. So you really have to have a, a mech that's kind of staying behind. What do you need? And I can't... I don't really have one that can do that. All my mechs kind of need to engage. So, best case scenario is... Oh my god, that's devastating. Alright, this is a multi-target. Let's go on you. If we can. I don't know if we can. Yeah, we can. And B will take these guys. We should be able to kill A with, with these. Yeah, plenty. Plenty! And two misses. Crap. But I will say that Predator is just a much better chance to hit. Now, if we can only find a, uh, a uh, what's it called? The recon sensors for that thing, too? It'll be devastating. 
Now we've got them in here. We've got them in the Talos. Oh, come on, you chicken. You're, what are you guys doing? Waiting for orders. You know the deal. God, the movement on this thing. Just insane. Let's go for the kill. Firing. Meltdown. Alright, let's just put you up here. That's probably going to keep these guys all in range. Oh, uh, wait, did I turn the mask off? Did I? I did, didn't I? Okay, fingers crossed I turned it off. I'll know in a second if I <laughs> if it starts making funny noises. I'm pretty sure I turned it off. ADHD guys, man, I tell ya. Some instances it's awesome. Other instances, not so much. Um, large heavy, medium heavy, small heavy, barrage heavy. See ya. Boom! How you like them apples? Make my day. Make my day. How does 50 bullets in your ass make your day? Standing by. Move order Five brothers with guns. That was, um... What the hell was that called now? It was a uh, comedy movie, um, and it was the skit was sneak in theater, and it's two guys, two black guys sitting in the theater, right, and they're making comments about movies, right, and one of them was like Dirty Larry, and they had this scene where. Um, it's like the mock scene of where uh, Dirty Harry pulls up and he's he's talking to like uh, there's like five black guys and he pulls his gun out on right <laughs> and they're talking about how unrealistic the scene would be and it's like make my day make my day boom how does 50 bullets in your ass make your day <laughs> anyway coming up five brothers with guns make my day boom how does 50 bullets in your ass make your day <laughs> Ah, uh, what a brilliant scene that was. I remember me and my friends saw that. We just couldn't stop laughing. It was the best. Boom, how does 50 bullets in your ass make your day? There you go. Was not expecting to kill that guy. Boom, how does 15 LRMs in your back make your day? Alright, I'll catch up with you guys once the first vehicle goes out. Alright, there we go. We got one slacker though. Yeah, let's hope so. At least that uh, dropship is blocking the uh, attackers up on the hill here. Hopefully. We got this guy la like lagging severely behind. But uh, we'll move Duskraker into here. Oh shit, I did tur forget to turn the mask off. Well, it's off now. You know, every turn I'm thinking, oh, I better check that. And every turn I forget. And it's like... <sighs> what do you need? Well, at least it's a little bit of excitement. I still don't even know where enemies are. There should be there should be up here and there, I hope. I guess I better stay here too, just so that these guys can move. Like the last time they came from up there and then over the hill. Okay, we got two out. This guy's taking his freaking time.
Let's scout this shiz out. Still nothing, huh? Uh, those guys are almost out. Let's do this. Like that. Get a little closer. And then we'll move arc light up. I'm like really hesitant to get only one Mac over this hill until we can see what we're up against. If there's anything. Let's get up here. That should be enough for both those guys. 15 and 12. Okay, he's out. Um, do they have reinforcements? I don't think they've got any reinforcements. That's, um, I mean, it's good and it's bad. Yeah, no enemies to go, so let's just get our guys out of here. Well, there we go. All right. Well, I'm not going to argue about that. Good salvage. Mission successful. Okay. Well, contract payment increased by 40%. That's really nice. Definitely use those sea bills. Now, the trebuchet took a bit of damage. The mask system. Yeah, I think it's just it's just damaged. That was my fault. Oh, a jump jet got crypt. Well, we got plenty of jump jets. Upper leg damage. Okay, not bad. And of course, I shot myself in the back. Cause you know how, you know how we need to at least take some damage in the battles. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Oh, five pieces. We could take a whole Kentaro, a whole gauntlet. It's a risk gauntlet. I think we I don't think we can even not do that. A whole risk vindicators here too. Oh, we've got four parts of a risk or one part of a risk vindicator already. Two light PPCs, twin link capacitors alongside experimental MML10. So that's not bad. And what does the gauntlet have? Doesn't say. It's got nice sets of hard points, though. That's the thing I'm looking at. Potential for seven jump jets. Wow. All right, I'm not even going to look down below because I'm going to see stuff I want, and that's just going to stop me from doing this. You guys know in the past I've done that. So let's just go with the risk gauntlet. I think that's a, a direct upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and confirm this. Okay, we got two Kentaro pieces out of that. That's nice. A Vindicator risk piece. Okay. Heavy MRM-10. I don't know if we have any ammo for MRM. I don't think we do. Large heavy laser, that's kind of nice. Um, SRM-6, Irian. That's 10 damage per missile, minus one accuracy though. Streak MML-5. I don't think we have any streak MML ammo though. Or does it matter? Do you have to have streak ammo? You probably do, streak SRM and streak LRM, which we don't have. Heat bank plus, that's nice. Standard cockpit. S okay, slick suite's nice. Uh, Stealth AMS double. Finally, we got some of that, uh, and we got swarm incendiaries. That's kind of nice too. All right, we'll take that. Okay, let's have a look here. Eighteen thousand, not bad. That's my fault too. We did well. We punished those guys hard. So let's have a look at the mech bay gonna bring that risk mech in and we're gonna go ahead and drop out I, I know right away we're just gonna drop this generator here there's no point in keeping that up so storage and there we go beautiful let's ready this guy that mech you asked for is 
All right, let's see what it's got in it. What has survived? Oh, looks like it's got a few things. Oh, it's an Omnimac gyro. Is this... Well, XL engine is still there. Not a lot survived. Exchanger Plus, that's good. Fire Control System Risk, it's a breacher. That's kind of nice. And this is all intact. Radical heatsink kit double. So this is regular double heatsinks, which is really nice. Um, yeah, the heavy MRM is gone. Got the AMS in here still. That's looking pretty good. We got, what, um, 19 tons left to work with. It's pretty darn good. What's the size of the core? 275. This thing's pretty darn quick. That's a lot of tons to work with. It's almost full armor as well to start with. So we'll probably max out the armor uh, and then figure out what we're going to do with it. I mean, hell, we could make this an Ultra 20 build. As a breacher, that would be a nightmare. Uh, risk cockpit gives us, what, guts and two to tactics. Risk sensors. Stacking bonus of four to sensor checks. That's not bad. Okay, well, I'm going to have to work on this guy. Um, we don't have any case, unfortunately. Which might mean we... Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't I don't think we have any ultra 20 ammo anyway, do we? Um We got 2 tons of caseless and 2 tons of regular. So that's what? 10 20 shots. Oh, it's 10 10 shots per really? 30 shots of of ammo then we've got for the Ultra 20. We've only got one for the Ultra 10. I mean, heck, we could just go with two tons and just shoot one at a time to start with. I just don't like the jam chance. Minus 15% weapon damage dealt with this ammo. Let me think about it. That's a possibility, because, I mean, we've got... How much is this way? 14? 16. Eh, I don't know. It would be this, a couple tons of ammo, and that would be it. Actually, we, we take this off too, right? So that's an extra four tons. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let me think about it. We, got all, we also got the LBXs that we could use. That's good range. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, build it, and then... It's probably going to be another uh, another episode before it's in service. We're going to need to generate. Well, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It might be ready before the. Oh yeah, it'll be ready before the end of the month. So we'll see how it goes. See when I can get it into service. If I can get it in before the next episode, I will. If not, it'll be the episode after that. But it's pretty darn cool looking. That's for damn sure. So. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.